all praise Zach. You know, I always say this whenever I see Don Matthews, but whoever invents smell of vision better be glad that didn't work because Don Matthews is in the ring, and I don't think the people at home can handle the stench of one Don Matthews. Have you told him that face to face? Of course I have, but he never listens. Oh, okay. We told him that face to face, you wouldn't be sitting next to me to this very day. Well, we've got Don Matthews, and we just saw a few moments ago the disbanding of the Devil's Rejects. The, uh, the, uh, the Reverend Dan Wilson, excuse me, you know, I'm, I'm still kind of shocked, saying that the pre-match stipulation in the contract was if Tank defeated Tempers, that he would disband the Devil's Rejects. That's happened, but what's got everybody concerned is he says he has a new project in the future. And we know from, you know, what we saw here for the past five years with the Devil's Rejects, when Dan Wilson sets his mind to something, he will not stop until it's done. Fair enough. I mean, Dan Wilson is uh, quite the character. And apparently so is, so is Don Matthews. And Don Matthews is not particularly impressed by Sean Tempers. But, but Tempers has shown, and, and the Reverend Dan Wilson is, in fact, correct. What an athlete that Sean Tempers has become. And indeed, one of the very finest in NWA anarchy. And uh, you very well maybe, maybe one of the finest in the whole National Wrestling Alliance. But Sean Tempers, I guess, has a lot to prove away from Dan Wilson. And again, um, Amanda, the size and the curve of, of Don Matthews, perhaps the reincarnation of, of Stan Hansen, in all honesty, in a lot of respects. I mean, this is going to be a tall order indeed, but the, uh, but the sleeper cell still kicking and screaming here at NWA Energy. Well, Sean Tempers, a former television champion, a former tag team champion here in Anarchy. I mean, you know, like you said, he has a lot to prove, and he wants to he wants to get back on that path to singles gold. Don Matthews hasn't held any gold here in Anarchy yet. I don't think he will. But, I mean, he has, definitely has all the tools. I just don't think he has the aptitude. But then again, the man has been around a while, and the frankly, his showing up here against Sean Tempers will show the matchmakers of NWA Anarchy what exactly might be in front. Uh, as in the uh, in the cards, the singles career of Don Matthews. Have you ever met the matchmakers of Anarchy? What uh, a bunch of goons they are. Oh, I have. I've yet, yet to meet them. I look forward to meeting them. I'm sure they're fine, upstanding individuals. Well, right one, now, one of, one of them outstanding in their field. I wouldn't go that far. Right now, you see Sean Tempers. I don't know if that was so much overpowering Don Matthews as it was just getting the leverage. But Don Matthews right back to the arm. Don Matthews, one of several big men here in NWA Anarchy. Of course, you know, you had to include in that class a man we saw earlier, Mr. Black. We have Orion Bishop, who's in that class, Michael Judas. You know, these, these huge men, you know, that have that size, that girth. And Don Matthews uses every bit of that to his advantage. And that Lariat clothesline is definitely one of the best in the sport today. Yeah, I don't know Lariat, particularly done with the ferocity one Don Matthews that goes up and leave, leave, leave a mark, shall we say. Well, oh my, speaking of leaving a mark, the boot of Sean Tempers right on the head of Don Matthews. And Matthews crumbles into a heap in the middle of the ring. Things are going the way of the sleeper cell. The one thing about Sean Tempers, the one thing that makes him the most deadliest, is Sean Tempers has not only shown that he can go in there and he can brawl, and he can go through all the, you know, the, 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 the damaging matches, like the anarchy rules, the compound death match war games. He's also shown that he has a technical side to him. Whenever you have a fine mixture of that, when you're willing to spill the blood, but you're also willing to go to the mat, that right there, that makes you in a class all by yourself. You definitely have to be an adaptable, adaptable figure to, to, make it a, to make a major career of yourself uh, in here in professional wrestling. And I think Sean Tempers has that in spades. And particularly to be adaptable for the wide variety of opponents you're going to be facing. And frankly, as you pointed out, they're not all that many super, super, super large men in NWA Anarchy, but Don Matthews, is, this is tough to beat as far as big men are concerned. And, and Sean Tempers putting all that weight on the, the neck of Don Matthews, and things are going the way of the sleeper cell at the moment. I am still awaiting word if we're going to hear from Shadow Jackson or not. There's, I've sent some runners to the back. They, he is not here in the building. He's not in the NWA Arena. So we don't know if we'll hear from Shadow Jackson. We don't even know if Jerry Palmer has an update on his condition. So a little bit of time left. Hopefully we'll still get that. If not, we'll definitely have that here for you next week. And it has been confirmed. It has been signed. Here next week on NWA Anarchy, it will be the entourage, Andrew Alexander and Mr. Black, taking on the team of Billy Buck and Tank that here in seven days. Amazing. I thought the Tank's tag team days were over. I guess we're bringing proof wrong. 
Maybe one last time. That's it. It's tanked one last time in the sun in the tag team ranks here at NWA Anarchy. It was the first time of first time tag team partner of Billy Buck. And chemistry is such a big, big part of tag team uh, comp competition. We'll see if he can pull it off. Well, of course, Billy Buck, one half of the current Anarchy Tag Team Champion. Tank, a six-time tag team champion. And Don Matthews powering out of Sean Timbers' attack, but Sean Timbers right back on him. And right now, right back, running that chin lock in there on Don Matthews, making him carry that weight. But Don Matthews powering back up, and like I said, this is for Don Matthews' forte. You know, this man right here, not very many men can overpower him, but a forearm to a noggin, that'll take you down every time. That's something well, and not to mention ripping and clawing at the face. That's a good amateur hold. Oh, uh, well, fair enough. Amateur hold. Yeah, it's, just, it's called the uh, Dan Gable Gun Rearranger. Oh, I see. By way of Kevin Sullivan and Mark Lewis. Yes, that would be that. Uh, that that'd you be, know. That would be the path they took in there. You've been to Amsterdam, New York yourself, huh? <laughs> yeah, the, the bad part is apparently. A charging knee from Don Matthews meets up with only the turnbuckle. It's a break for the sleeper cell. Sean Tempers, I'm sure he'll take advantage of that. And speaking of some of the other big men here, and NWA Anarchy, this is one of the guys I was talking about. It's Orion Mitchell, and he just speared Don Matthews. Was he, was he aiming for Tempers or Matthews? Well, looks as if, uh, I can't really tell from the expression on Bishop's face, if uh, Don Matthews was the intended target. He doesn't seem to be particularly fond of, uh, of Tempers either. Well, Ryan Bishop, you know, is a guy, he, he's been part of the tag team since he's been here. He's been at the top of the ladder, but... I, I don't even know what this is about. Fans, uh, let's get the word from Kevin Marks. Ladies and gentlemen, due to Orion Bishop's interference, referee D. Byers has disqualified Sean Tempers, the winner of this matchup, Don Matthews. Well, Don Matthews doesn't look like too much of a winner at the moment, that's for sure. But we're gonna have to find out exactly what this is with Orion Bishop. Fans, more anarchy after this. <laughs> 